The Turkish Constitutional Court made history recently with a landmark ruling in favour of the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem. The court ruled that the 1973 confiscation of the Mariakop Armenian Church Foundation was unlawful. Unlawful! Can you believe this? The foundation responsible for managing the Patriarchate's properties in Turkey can now regain control of its assets. Praise be to God! This ruling is significant for several reasons. It is truly a very rare instance where a Turkish court has sided with Armenian community against the state. Very rare indeed. In fact, it has never happened like before. The decision will set a precedent for other Armenian groups seeking to reclaim confiscated properties. The ruling has been met with jubilation from Armenians in Turkey and around the world. Why not? It has been over 100 years now that the Turkish government has denied the truth. They have consistently and conveniently confiscated Armenian land, business, homes and property. They then sold it and kept the money or the land. Whether it was April 24, 1915, 1895, 1920, 1973 or today, the Turks have had a history of doing whatever they pleased taking property from the Armenians and being able to keep it legally. Now today they can no longer do it. It was not the Armenians saying this, it was the highest court in the land of Turkey, the Constitutional Court. Many see it as a long overdue recognition of their rights. The decision is a sign of hope for the future of the Armenian community in Turkey. It suggests that change is possible and that the Turkish government is capable of respecting the rights of the Armenians and taking responsibility for what happened to them 1915 to 1923. The recent court victory for the Armenian Patriarchate is the culmination of a decades-long struggle. It did not happen overnight. The confiscation of the Mariakop Foundation's properties in 1973 was part of a broader pattern of discrimination and dispossession faced by the Armenian community in Turkey from 1915 to 1923 and even before that. The Armenian Genocide, which began April 24, 1915, saw the systematic killing and deportation of over a million and a half Armenians within the Ottoman Empire. This dark chapter in history left a deep scar on the Armenian community and the subsequent decades saw continued efforts to erase their presence and seize their assets. The 1973 confiscation of the Mariakop Foundation's properties exemplified this ongoing injustice. It continued the belief that the Turks could anything they wanted to the Armenians legally. The Foundation, responsible for managing a vast portfolio of properties belonging to the Patriarchate, was stripped of its assets, leaving the Armenian community without crucial resources. The recent court ruling represents not just a legal victory but a symbolic triumph against decades of systemic discrimination. The Turkish court's ruling in favour of the Armenian Patriarchate extends its significance beyond the immediate case. This landmark decision has ignited hope for Armenians in Turkey and around the world who have faced similar challenges in securing their rights in a country where human rights or the concept that rights of any type do not exist for all people. The ruling sets a precedent that could potentially pave the way for others to seek legal recourse. The situation for human rights in Turkey has been a subject of international concern, with reports highlighting restrictions on their freedom of worship and discrimination. The court's recent decision offers a glimmer of hope that change is possible. The ruling sends a powerful message that the Turkish legal system is capable of upholding the rights of all of their people. This could encourage the Republic of Armenia to pursue legal avenues to address historical injustices. For the past 100 plus years, 60% of the First Republic of Armenia has been illegally occupied by Turkish rebels 1920 that took over eastern Turkey, western Armenia, annexed the land in 1923 and taken land, property and businesses from Armenia. Why not go to court to get this land grabbed back as well? Turkey claims this land, but Republic of Turkey did not exist at the time of the occupation. The people who gained the land were the Turkish rebel army, not the official government of the Ottoman Empire who had signed a treaty to end WWU in the east, the Treaty of Sevres. The treaty called for President Wilson to draw the boundary line. The president did that and land was given to Armenia, not Turkey, so will the Constitution Court give that property back as well? 
A Section 4, Challenging the Narrative Genocide Recognition and Beyond. The Turkish court's ruling on the Armenian Patriarchate's property has broader geopolitical implications, particularly regarding Turkey's stance on the Armenian genocide and its foreign policy in the region. Although the court case focused on property rights, its timing and outcome inevitably intersect with the sensitive issue of the Armenian genocide, which Turkey continues to deny. Deny, deny, deny this the Turkish policy, and it is a very bad one. The ruling comes at a time when international pressure on Turkey to acknowledge the genocide has been mounting. Several countries, including the United States, have formally recognized the events of 1915 as genocide. This court decision, while not directly addressing the genocide, indirectly challenges the Turkish government's narrative by acknowledging the historical injustices faced by the Armenian community. The timing of the ruling is especially significant given Turkey's ongoing foreign policy challenges. The court's decision could be interpreted as a sign of potential softening in Turkey's position, opening doors for dialogue and reconciliation. Section 5, The Road Ahead, Legal Battles and Lasting Change While the recent court victory for the Armenian Patriarchate is a significant milestone, it's crucial to recognize that the journey toward achieving full restoration of rights and achieving lasting change is far from over. We must demand more from Turkey. They must give back all occupied land and the ruling, while a positive sign, represents one step in a much larger battle for justice and equality. The Armenian Patriarchate still faces the task of reclaiming control of the properties and ensuring their proper management. This process will likely involve navigating complex legal procedures and potentially facing bureaucratic hurdles. Furthermore, the broader issues of religious freedom and minority rights in Turkey require ongoing attention. The recent victory, while significant, marks the beginning of a new chapter, not the end of the story. Let us begin the next chapter the same way. Let's make court rule that Artsakh and Western Armenia are important parts of Armenia and begin the process to reclaim all of our lost property, businesses, farms, and land. God bless Armenia.